item corner and I do it in the half and wait in the sub. You can't see my face, right? Yes. And you know, with this, it is very, very easy for me to make more videos. I promised I was going to help like business owners and musicians promote their stuff, you know, on my channel. But today, I'm sorry, I wouldn't be able to do that. Okay. But in my next video, like I said, I'm going to make more videos. So in my next video, I promise to, you know, begin that all over again. I will try as much as possible to put out more videos so I can help people promote their stuff for free. And you know, it's because of the lockdowns. I just want to help my subscribers, like give back to them. Yep. So much for that. Okay, guys, coronavirus here again. May 4th is the day. Buhari promised to ease lockdown, you know, the COVID-19 lockdown on 4th of May 2020. Some subscribers sent me a message like, is this really a nice idea? What do you think about this? For me, I, I don't really see anything wrong in that because people are hungry, like people are dying of hunger right i just think the people themselves have to be careful now because it's survival of the fittest uh, now i'm not happy that you know that is happening that the government had to do that but the government can't even feed the people so the people are going to die of hunger and crimes going to increase so like what is the difference so i just think the people themselves should just be careful but i know definitely well this coronavirus the numbers will definitely increase the coronavirus numbers will definitely increase it is not just the best thing you know if i'm to be sincere not just the best thing because you haven't tackled the coronavirus right and you say you're gonna ease lockdown you know on fourth of me guys let me know what you think about this but here we have kanayo kanayo you know kanayo kanayo have something wise to say here now some of you have watched this video but for those that haven't watched it check it out we're fighting two pandemics coronavirus hunger virus it's like a contest between the poor and the rich the rich is afraid of the virus the poor is afraid of hunger the rich wants the poor to stay at home to curb the spread. But hunger will not allow the poor to stay at home. The poor fears that if they stay at home, hunger will kill them. The rich fears that if they come out, the coronavirus will kill them. It's a very delicate situation. So how do we get out of this uh, social equilibrium? We think that the rich should provide food for the poor. So the poor can stay at home. If the poor have enough food to eat to stay at home, the problem of the rich will be over. Simple logic. Over and Okay, guys, so that is it. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. And guys, what is all this thing about Access Bank? I heard two days ago that, you know, the GMD of Access Bank um, announced 75% staff layoff and salaries cut. And Instagram went Haywire. Um, Twitter was crazy. Everybody bashing Access Bank. Oh, you donate one billion naira to the government and now you have to sack like 75% um, workers. What are you thinking? I was like, what? What are you guys saying? They know they will get it back. They invested the money, guys. Open your eyes. They are not dumb. They invested the money. Okay? The fact that they lay off 75 percent people when this whole coronavirus thing is gone these people are going to get back their money it is obvious everybody's investing so that they will get it back you know they'll be like dangote you understand i mean if you get government back up you know what that means you're untouchable so they don't really care about the people it's not like they give the government one billion i've said it over and over again in my videos and some people thought you know this is just for real guys these people don't really care about us like they don't care about the average nigerian okay they don't care about it. the fact that they donated the one billion um naira to the federal government that doesn't mean they are investing please it, there's a huge difference so don't think that these people are dumb no they are not dumb they're gonna get back their money a million folds okay so just just try to understand that all right all right guys let us move on to the next one here is about entertainment news okay so much for that um david o said to drop new music and a new album <laughs> all the comments were like oh my god david o um Nicki minaj oh my god i'm about to go crazy and even i saw um 
you know dj copy's comment as well dj copy said oh is this a dream i'm so happy i just shared a tear no cap david do is a big artist in nigeria Nicki minaj is a big artist yeah in america and as well as david do david do is popular not only in nigeria is also international yes fine i'm we are so happy to hear that you know a nigerian musician is working with you know Nicki minaj a one time the best rap best and biggest you know female rapper in america but hey come on david do is also a big artist okay Nicki minaj fans might be much more than david do's fan but uh, fans but david do is also a big artist so i think it is time for us to at least appreciate our own i'm so happy to see it but not to the extent that i'm gonna cry i'm gonna be like a dream come true or come on people yeah but it's a good thing it's a good news now let us move on to the next one now there's been this comparison going on on social media well <laughs> they put this guy you know compare them side by side whiskey and vibe vibes cartel and um, some people don't know this guy this guy's from jamaica and he's still in prison that's funny thing and they're trying to like compare both of them first i would just say this they should just stop this comparison reggae artist and an afrobeat artist they should just stop this comparison and these guys have worked together before um vibes cartel went to prison so guys um i really don't have much to say about that i heard Bonner boy and his girlfriend talking about this and all the people too talking about it hey please let's stop all this and another thing again that i noticed on twitter brian Mo has been trolling you all brian Mo is trolling everybody start on twitter as usual twitter is even crazy these days i don't know what i think everybody on twitter is high on something that's my belief um so so many people think oh brimo is taking this for real for for real you know no i don't think so i just think brimo right is just a guy who like to troll you know for him to get attention now it's not a bad thing because it's it's part of the business and why am i saying this because of his comment um recently he posted your faves that's your favorite still can't perform live though can't write can't sing that good and somebody replied if you are not bold enough to mention their names then what's your point and brahma replied i can't name 99 percent of the artists in nigeria and he put laugh emoji, laugh emoji, laugh emoji. For me, I think Brimo is just trolling everybody. And again, you know, the social media will always fall for it. Okay, guys, let us move on to the next one. Here we have Timini. Guys, let me know what you think about this. Timini um, is 32 years old and an actor. Why the girlfriend, okay, the said girlfriend, Lydia, is 19 years old, according to report. What do you think about this? I mean, she's above... 18 right these are matured people this actually sparks up um conversation on twitter like everybody you know counting um timini for dating a lady is 10 years or plus older than you know and i don't really see anything wrong with this but what what do you guys think is wrong with you know the age difference between T timini you know and his 19 year old girlfriend you know this she's not a minor okay i can only have a problem if she was a minor but she's not guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section below all right guys that is where i'm going to hold it it's just a short video you know we just i just want to quickly put this out there and just let you know that there will be more videos this month like more videos but without my face okay i know my face don't give money so there's no point but i can just chip in the face you know once in a while um thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe if this is your first time of watching and we'll see you next time Peace.